Yokso Takus! I don't usually make these kind of videos, but I really like NIS America or Nippon Ichi Software America. And they have a publisher sale right now on Steam. There's a ton of stuff, and a lot of it is really great deals. So I just kind of wanted to go over everything that's on sale because it's a freaking awesome sale. First off, they're trying to talk about the new East 10 game that literally just came out. Uh, which is not on sale, but if you haven't played the Ease games before, you can get Ease 9 and Ease 8 for $29.99 and $13.99 respectively, which is 50 and 65% off. Uh, they're action RPGs. They're really cool. I am not super familiar with the Ease games in their entirety, but I've played a couple of them, and I've always had a lot of fun with them. So if you like action RPGs, definitely something to check out and some just really good deals. Trails Through Daybreak is also on sale for 20% off at $47.99. I did get a copy of this game from NIS America, but uh, I've been really liking the Trails games a lot. I'm, I'm new to the series. I'm new to getting into them. And uh, it's just been a really, really fun RPG series in its whole. Trails Through Daybreak is the uh, part of a new arc. And uh, it's a good place to start there if you want to start at that arc, though, you know, the series goes way, way, way back in time. And hopefully they'll have some other ones on this publisher sale as well. And Trails Through Daybreak 2 is coming out right after it, which they have advertised on there. Uh, going back into the older series, though, uh, all the older series games also look like they're very super heavily discounted, which looks like it might be a really great time to get them. The Legend of Nauta Boundless Trails is a game that I have, I've played, and I've covered on the page all the way back from when it was still just a Japanese release. And this one goes back to the PSP and is just a really great game. It's fun. Uh, as I understand it, I think it's kind of a spin-off, so you can just play it on its own. I did when I played it. I had never played any other of the Trails games or anything like that, so that's a really fun one. A little Isekai, too, if you like that kind of stuff. Uh, Trails to Azure. $29.99, Trails from Zero, $27.99, and Trails into Reverie for $38.99. In order, it's Zero, Azure, and Reverie. And I actually started with Zero when I started playing, which a lot of people, you know, were like, oh, you gotta play the original Trails of Cold Steel first. And I didn't, and still really enjoyed uh, that whole arc with Zero, Azure, and Reverie. So I highly suggest checking those out if you haven't. Another really exciting thing that they've said recently is we're getting kind of this updated version for Phantom Brave uh, on the PS5, I believe. They're coming out with a whole new version of it for that system. But if you have the PC version, on November 7th, we're getting a big update for it. And if you haven't played Phantom Brave yet, you totally should because the next Phantom Brave game is coming out, which is like 100 years later, <laughs> literally like nine years later from the original release on PC which I believe is a newer release than the original release for PS2, I think. Anyway, it's a really cool strategy game. It is not exactly like Disgaea, but I feel like in a lot of ways it has the same vibes as Disgaea games do, and just be a ton of fun. And it's literally $3.99 at 80% off. I cannot suggest this highly enough right now. Uh, these deals go until November 7th, so absolutely check that out. Or going into my favorite series that NIS makes, we have pretty much the entirety of the Disgaea games for PC, minus three, which if you go on their Facebook page, you'll know that's a thing with the community. Bring three out. Uh, but we got Disgaea 1, Disgaea 2, Disgaea 4, 5, 6, and 7, uh, all on sale right now. The earlier games, uh, obviously my favorite one in the series, Disgaea 1, 80% off at $3.99, 2 is $3.99, 4 is $11.99, $9.99 for Disgaea 5, 6 is $29.99, and then we have Disgaea PC, the Dude Bundle for $58.09. And this comes with uh, 16542, the art book for 165 and 4. And two. So that's a deal if you like art books. If not, I think individually that's a really great plan to get all those. So moving into the more obscure games, I don't know a lot about every single game that they've made, but some highlights on here I'd like to point out Rhapsody, a musical adventure, which is an easy RPG, kind of catered towards uh, females, but as a male, I had a really great time with it. That's down 40% to $11.99. Uh, Rhapsody 2, the, the sequel that we've wanted forever that they came out with in English, 
Uh, $14.99 at 40% off. So then kind of more in the action field, we have Killer 7 for $4.99. Uh, this one's been getting a little bit of heat right now because they've done, I guess, some AI work on a big update that they released recently. People were really mad that they've included AI into it. Uh, I do believe on Steam you can roll back from older updates and play without that, and you can do that for 75% off at $4.99. If you like weird Grasshopper Inc. games, I, I highly suggest Killer7. It is a classic, and uh, it's just a ton of fun to play. Another kind of interesting one, Disaster Report 4 is 75% off at $14.99. The disaster report games are really interesting. They're basically where a natural disaster happens and you have to try to survive through that natural disaster. Uh, if it's a series you haven't heard of, it's a really great way to check that out for the first time, I think, because they're usually pretty expensive games from whenever I've looked at them. So as far as the rest of the games go, it looks like nearly everything in their full library is here. One of my favorite horror games, Yamawari, is on sale for 50% off, and I think that might be the newest one. I always get confused with the names, um, but that's a good one to check out. Soul Nomad isn't a game I personally played, but I hear really good things about it. That's 50% off at $9.99. Uh, one of my favorite dungeon crawlers, in fact, two of them are included on this list, Labyrinth of Refrain and Labyrinth of Galarea are both on sale 80% off for Refrain at $9.99 and 40% off on Galarea. So, if you like dungeon crawlers i actually highly suggest those two games they are excellent um, i haven't beat galeria yet but i am looking forward to completing that one operation abyss is 80 percent off at 3.99 i never hear people talk about this i did a video where i had the gameplay of it in the background it's got really cool like anime art and is a little more like uh i don't know techno edge so to speak with these giant monsters and stuff and it's a cool and interesting uh, not a little dark dungeon crawler that I think is worth $3.99 for sure, even if you only get a little bit of hours out of it. I mean, $3.99 is super cheap. Uh, Cry Machina, we did cover that on the page, and I have a whole review video, which you can see on that. Uh, that's a Furyu game, which, you know, you can expect to be a little kind of AA title, kind of more indie feeling than a super polished. It is a really cool game, and that's definitely worth checking out. 35% off at $38.99. We have the other Yomawari game, Midnight Shadows, for $3.99, which could be a good place to start with, or Night Alone. I don't remember which one's first in that series, but you guys can definitely check those out. And uh, a game that we covered a ton on the page, Monarch, which is another Furyu game, a little rough around the edges, very grind heavy, but really cool. It's a really cool aesthetic, and it had some of the original SMT devs working on it, and I think that really shines through in the game. That's all the way down to $29.99, 50% off, which is a pretty fair price for it. I think at this point, a lot of people would probably rather pay $20 than $30 for it, but I would still think it would be worth it at $30. I also bought a copy myself for like 60 and I don't really mind that I paid that much for it in total. Anyway, there's a ton to see here. This isn't sponsored whatsoever. Uh, I haven't actually been working with NAS America since they moved platforms, but I still love their products and I wanted to talk about them and talk about this sale, which happens on Steam now and continues until November 7th. So if you like NAS games or even just really RPG games and there's some stuff you haven't checked out that's been kind of classics, I think this is a really great time to check that out. Dre with the Oak So Otaku. If you like this content, hit the thumbs up. If you don't, hit the thumbs down. Subscribe for more anime news, reviews, and gaming. Catch you on the next one.